Hello there, and welcome back to this let's play of The Binding of Isaac. So last run went terribly. Well, it went okay, but it ended prematurely. Uh, so hopefully we can do something better in this one. We did not unlock any more characters, but um, Lazarus seemed fun. In particular, I'm gonna use him. Where are you? Uh, I think I know what that means. That means... I actually don't know what that means. Um, yeah, one thing I wanted to check was the thing in the top left right now. The fact that we apparently have our lives times one, so we are a little bit more survivable. Um, and it seems like that is indeed a Lazarus thing. I wasn't sure about that at the end of the last run. Um, also, it seems like our range is actually pretty bad for Lazarus. I just realized right now. A little haunt. Fear him. I do fear him. Does he deal damage to enemies? Let's um, try that out immediately. Okay, so I will come in here again, that's for sure. Oh! Oh, that seems really good. Ha! I like that. Alright, so we have two pills. I'm gonna use them at the end of the floor again, just in case um, some of them are pills that I do not actually want to teleport me away from stuff. The reason I do it that way is that there is a possibility that you're just gonna teleport completely out of the level, at least in vanilla, and, and I don't want that happening. Spoilers again for those of you who don't know. So here's the match matchstick, tastes like burning. Um, I know that you can deal burning damage to enemies in this game, so maybe uh, the matchstick does that. Which I guess we'll have the chance to find out eventually here. There's a boss room, so simple enough first floor. I really like this uh, This dude following us. Seems super powerful. Yeah, just look at the health bar up there. It's He's completely wrecking Larry Jr. here. Ha! That's fantastic. I mean, I don't even need to do anything. I just need to sort of lure him up there and then I can just run away. That's ridiculous. It seems uh, super overpowered for the early game here. It's probably yes, less useful later on, I imagine, where enemies start having more um, more hit points. So this is a pageant boy, um, which just uh, spawns a bunch of gold, which is useful because um, shops often contain very useful items and having money means that we can actually go to those shops and make good use of them. So uh, there is a shop on the first floor, but first of all, we have no keys. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> essentially that means that we have zero use out of it. So there are also pills that force you to take damage. So I'm not gonna pick up, okay, that was speed down. That seems terrible. So I'm not gonna pick up the, um, the soul heart before I take the pills here. And that's I found pills, which makes us seem um, a bit more silly looking, but otherwise has no effect that I know of. Okay, so we are super slow right now. I really want to get another, um, or something to counter that a little bit. But um, other than that, good first floor. I'm super happy to get that guy following me. Seems really powerful. All right. There's an arcade that I'm probably not gonna, not gonna go into. If, um, if I understand correctly, at least in the, um, in, the, in Vanilla Isaac, you need to have five cents when you go down the floor to have a chance to spawn um, the arcade. So that is something we cannot disprove right now because we obviously have more than five cents. Oh, I love this item that we got on the first floor so much. Just look at how easy it makes everything. So I can choose here to use a bomb to get a key and I might, depending on how the rest of the floor is gonna go. This is Crystal Ball. Um, which is a one, two, three, four, five, six room charge, and when we use it, it spawns a card. In this case, two of clubs item multipliers. So that either doubles our keys or our bombs. Um, I believe it's keys. Um, and of course, we have zero keys, so the double of that is zero. But if you have zero keys, I believe it just gives you two keys. Uh, here's Hagman, which allows us to fly. Could be useful. So I'm not going to be able to bring the, both of those later on into the game. Um, so there are, we see our boss right there, actually. Oh, because when we use the crystal ball, we also get full knowledge of the entire map, which is um, pretty useful in particular, because it shows us that there is, in fact, a secret room in here, which we can use to bomb our way into the shop, if we want to save a key. 
But at the moment, it kind of looks like we have more keys and bombs, if I'm correct about the effect of two of clubs. So, as you can tell, if you really want to min-max this game and uh, optimize your own chances of winning, there is quite a bit of thinking to do, actually. Um, in particular, when you're trying to commentate uh, while you're playing. Uh, that's the kid again. Let's just... Alright, so the, the way I like to handle this is that since it makes no difference, we may as well kill the boss first, and then that should simplify matters a little bit, because then we know exactly what we want to do, and we have somehow... Uh, a bit more relaxed time at actually figuring out how to do it when there is nothing else going on in the floor. I know that's not actually a meaningful statement, but it's uh, the way it feels. Okay, so again, our friend here should be super useful against uh, Monstro who flies around. At least if he keeps aggro. I'm not sure what the purple or pink effect, what that actually means. And um, also, there seems to be none right now. Yeah, now he's purple again. I think it means that he takes... <laughs> no windows. Uh, I'm probably not gonna want to do that. Remind me later. Alright. That's annoying. And uh, now you have an idea about the uh, security of my window system right here. Because I should probably update that thing. It started popping up the entire time yesterday. Um, where I was way too busy playing the Binding of Isaac Rebirth to, uh, to do something about it. What can I say? Priorities. Okay, so what do we get here? We get an uh, HP upgrade, which I'm gonna take immediately. And then we get another chance at a deal with the devil. So two black hearts are super useful. And then there's Guppy's Paw. So Guppy's Paw allows you to um, trade one red heart for three spirit hearts. I'm not gonna pick it up. But it also is a Guppy item, so remember Guppy is Isaac's cat. And if you pick up enough, enough of those, you become super use, super powerful. So just for that reason alone, there is a good reason to pick up a Guppy item when it's only one hard prized. Uh, but I'm not going to do it. Even though I should also remember that I at some point need to pick up all the items in the game, so... Um, do you know what? We should use the uh, Hankman card here, because then we can get all of this money. Which, on the other hand, is gonna make our shop useful. I just realized the cursor on my screen. Sorry about that. Um, which, on the other hand, we can uh, now use two of clubs. And no matter whether or not it's uh, doubling our bombs or our keys, it's gonna be good. Okay, double our bombs. Fair enough. So we can either choose to use two bombs to get into the shop. Or one bomb here to get a key and then go into the shop. Which would leave us with one bomb total. Uh, so effectively, we will be paying one bomb to go into the secret room, which is what I'm gonna do anyway, so... Um, yeah, there's no reason not to do it this way. One reason could be that if there's a mini boss in here, which there is not, then we couldn't actually create a um, new exit to the shop down here. Hopefully what I did there makes sense. So this allows us to cheat our way into the shop, where we have this guy. Um, hive mind, giant spiders and flies. I got that uh, two runs ago, I think. Um, I'm not sure what else it does. All right, so um, there's a limit to how much you can donate on every single run. This uh, donation machine is now jammed for good on this run, if I understand correctly. Uh, but I'm just gonna do it because it's supposedly it does something, and I like stuff that uh, does something. In particular, that something is stuff itself. Um, all right, I think we did what we could on this floor, so let's just move on. So far, so good. On to the third floor. Where... which is where we died on the previous floor. I really don't want to spend a black heart to go into the uh, sacrifice room there. Even though it's probably worth it in some cases. I don't have a good feeling of how good the sacrifice rooms are. I know that in Vanilla Isaac they're not essential, but they're worth it. Almost always. Probably... I don't know. Yeah. Very often, very worth it. Oh shit, these guys always hit me for some reason. Their shots are super fast. But um, thankfully I don't actually need to bother with them because I have a friend who can do so. And there's no reason not to use the crystal ball when it's available. In this case it gives us a um, soul heart, which I'll take. 
Um, normally I like the strategy of only taking it at the end of the uh, floor, but uh, since we have black hearts I would rather protect theirs. So again, this chest is not all that good. Red hearts are useful when you need them, but if you don't then they're not really useful at all. So I think that guy is poisoned. Um, it's at least that's something I want to figure out if that's true or not. I mean, maybe another thing that's also sensible perhaps um, and is kind of a video game trope. Um, or maybe they're slow. Well, what I was gonna say is that perhaps they take more damage when they're pink and that's what the, uh, the little sign over their head means. Um, if that's true, it's gonna be a little tricky to test. I guess I could perhaps test it on some bosses. Um, but other than that, I'm not really sure how I should do so. I like the uh, medley music in, the, in this room. I I'm not sure what to feel about the music in this game so far, comparing it again to Vanilla Isaac. So, for instance, uh, the caves music here. I know that I have the volume fairly low when I um, record, because otherwise it's going to be impossible to hear what I say. Um, it, yeah, it feels like the kind of music that you might get tired of in the long run. I'm not sure though. Maybe you just get used to it in the long run. I mean, it's video game music, it doesn't play a huge role. Also, I'm talking so much that uh, half of what I'm hearing right now is my own voice. Um, and I mean... Yeah. All right, leaving it at that. In this room, we have a lot of poop. It seems like the petrified poop that we got on the first run would be super useful. The butter bean. Okay, so beans have to do with poop, right? If you eat a lot of beans, beans you're going to create a lot of poop. That's not actually how it works, but you're going to create a lot of gas anyway, and gas and poop are sort of related. Um, and I imagine that the achievement that we just got there was for probably blowing up enough poop. Something like that. We're not actually blowing stuff up, we're rather tearing it up. Ha! That's a, a little pun for all of you right there. What is this? Anti-gravity tears. This... Whoa! How does this work? Shooting once? Oh, so I get... when I Okay, so the idea is right now I'm, I'm uh, keeping the trigger and or the key and then if i let go of it it's gonna fire everything at once my brain is not going to be able to handle this this room is probably again not going to be very useful for us we should remember to go to the secret room as well uh, and it seems like i don't don't get to um choose the direction of the shots if i start by firing to the the right it's not like i can all of a sudden change the direction of the shots um Oh, but this... I, I can see how this could be super useful. So first of all, it makes us look super cool, but then I can also do stuff like this and keep firing, even though there there is no enemies around, and then when enemies do choose to show up, I can hit them anyway. Ugh, this is gonna be difficult. Uh, I should remember to use my crystal ball. It's a moon that teleports us to... something. The secret room, I think. Um, so since I'm not sure if it's a secret room, I think it is a secret room. So I can use that to save a bomb. I know where the sh secret room is anyway. And in this case, I'm gonna actually use a bomb to check. Oh, that was bad damage on my part. In this uh, case, I'm gonna use a bomb to get to try to get to this black heart, even though my theory is that it's not gonna work. It totally didn't work. Uh, so how do I wanna handle this? Uh, I guess we may as well go to the secret room immediately. And good that we did, because that contains a battery, which I believe completely fills up our item meter. So now we can actually use Crystal Ball once again. So that wasn't too bad. And it actually gave us free access to the shop. That's amazing. Very lucky. Uh, so Crystal Ball, what do you have for me? The Chariot, um, which turns us invincible for a brief period of time. And we can also deal damage to enemies while doing so. And let's see, this is indeed still jammed. And this key, I'm not sure what does. Um, so I could choose to pay five cents for another tarot card, essentially. Or something like that, anyway. From, um, from just being able to use Crystal Ball immediately. 
not sure that's actually worth it um, because there's a lot of variance on the greatness of the terror cards make a fatty that's a new boss um, oh he pulls uh, pulls you close to him and he does that <laughs> oh this is scary oh and he's super fast Um, okay, so you can look at the shadows to get an idea about where it's gonna go and it looks like the uh, general strategy here is to be super mobile um, Because it seems like everything he does he aims at you um, Wow, I'm taking a lot of damage here though. Hopefully this is not gonna go down go wrong immediately And the pattern seems to be completely fixed, right? So when he does that... Okay, the patterns are not actually faked. Okay. I was afraid that he was gonna jump on me again. So I'm just gonna use my turret card. And I did use it for good right there. P that's Pentagram. That's a pretty good item in the original. It's simply damage up. There's nothing more to it. and gives us some cool horns. Um, damage up, of course. No reason to explain why that is good. Uh, is there anything else we want to do in this room? We probably want to go to the um, self-sacrifice room. Or not self-sacrifice room. Um... Yeah, uh, maybe I get the names of the room uh, of the rooms in this game wrong. Is it the sacrifice room just? And the w one with the stuff on the ground is the self-sacrifice room. The, the, like the stuff you can walk on and take damage. Um, I don't know, but I'm gonna go into it anyway. That's Guppy's tail for free. I like free items, and those are sp spiders that help us out. So Guppy's tail and um, spawns more golden chests and golden chests require keys to open up but they're usually better than ordinary chests um, so since I don't have very many keys it's not necessarily a very good item but again if you get enough guppy items it can be very good so since we have one how much health do we have lying around I'm gonna min max a little bit here we have one and a half heart so let's take one and a half heart worth of damage on this room just to see if it actually pays out. Let's take two hearts of damage. That didn't do anything. I don't know if there is a fixed amount of damage that you need to take for it to pay out. Um, uh, I don't think so though. I think it's pretty random. Alright, so we will min-max. Obviously, the fun part of watching this, I imagine, is the actual battle. Unless you're like me and you like to think of what's the most optimal way of actually dealing with this. If you're like that though, you're probably yelling at your screen every now and then because I'm not actually playing optimally. Um, and yeah, I will have no excuse to do so because I am trying to. On to the next floor. That will be the fourth one. Yeah. What's with the timer on the fifth floor? Curse of Darkness. Which makes the floor dark, I can tell. That's, um, first of all, super annoying, but also potentially a big problem. So, uh, I remember reading the block for this game and noticing that they were gonna add something like the Spelunky Ghost to the game. Which means that, perhaps if you're not fast enough at completing the game, it's gonna make itself more difficult. I really hope that's not the case, because if so, my uh, strategy of uh, min-maxing spending a lot of time of thinking about how to complete the game as optimally as possible is perhaps not the best strategy. This room is uh, nice and bright and damaging. Try not to get too close to those spikes. There's the shop in there. Of course we'll want to go into the shop if I can get enough money to make it worthwhile. I'm not going to open up that chest because I only have one key and the item room and shop uh, will be first priority over golden chests. Golden chests more often than not contain keys, but it's not a guarantee. Mm, there you go. So I like how the items that I have kind of mean that I don't actually need to be close to combat. I can just set up combat by having my familiar um, get close and just set up the tiers so that when Enemies kind of get close, they're kind of trapped and will take uh, damage as a result. I think that's gonna be the strategy here. This thing, I, that's a tampon, isn't it? E. coli, dirty touch. What? There's th that combination of uh, name and 
item icon makes... It does make sense, but it's disturbing. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. Turn it touch. So I wonder if that... <laughs> I don't... Do, I guess it means that if we touch enemies, we're probably gonna deal some kind of damage to them. Uh, of course, I'm not gonna try it out if I can avoid doing so, but... Uh, we have this thing ready. I should use that. The world allows us to see the entire map, but um, we also have that effect immediately from just um, having the crystal ball to begin with. So that's not a, a great get. Here's some more keys. Means that I will open up the golden chest, I imagine. So let's not go to the uh, boss room just yet, just because I might end up fighting a new boss that I don't know the mechanics of and taking way, much, way too much damage and actually dying. Which is uh, not the plan. Uh, I guess we can just open this as well. Maybe contain something good. Contains enough money almost um, to make it worth it to go to the shop. So if I can just my make one more cent, that's something I'm gonna do. Until then... This room is kind of annoying because I don't have a lot of flexibility to deal the damage I want to deal and if they those guys shoot at me I need to be able to get out of the way. My range is a little bit too short here. Other than that, the room should be easy enough. Those guys flee from you. So it's not like you need to worry about them getting too close or anything. And there's a red chest. Contains a uh, soul heart. I'll come back and pick that up later. Uh, for now, let's just go in here again. Two black hearts. Very useful. And now I will pick up the soul heart. And I think it's a boss challenge room on our right, if I remember the icons correctly. This room is kind of scary, but um, we can really make use of our uh, of our neat little item here. I forget what it's called again. It's gonna take me forever to uh, learn the names of the items. Even doing it in the Vanilla Isaac. Yeah, it took me quite a while. Um, yes, I will open this up. Oh, Gobby's head. Um, so I'm gonna stick with the crystal ball, but what this does is every single room we can get three flies and those deal, I think in the original, twice your damage to enemies when you get close. So that's of course pretty useful. Um, maybe I should have kept it until the boss fight. I'm not sure. It probably won't make a big difference, but yeah. Okay, so uh, this is Anarchist's cookbook, which when we use it will spawn bombs. Did we go to the secret room? We did. Uh, otherwise, I could use that to gain entrance to that without using a bomb. I'm not gonna use... Did I just get myself stuck? I didn't. Okay. So as you know, from my first run, there are two um, secret rooms on each floor, but one is gonna be very tricky to find and particularly the um, crystal ball is not gonna tell us where it is so I left some health up here it's no reason not to pick that up yeah I think I'm just gonna rush down the bomb I'm not actually sure what the match stick does I haven't uh, noticed anything at first I thought that it was gonna deal the uh, fire damage to enemies but uh, that doesn't really seem to be a thing Oh, against turrets, this item is fantastic as well. I can just uh, charge up a bunch of shots. So this is what I was hoping for, that I would get a enough money to um, uh, to go to the shop. Oh, there was actually a penny up here. I didn't see it because of the darkness. So uh, that's a very quick example of her darkness being a little bit detrimental. Detrimental is perhaps a strong word, but um, making the game more difficult than it otherwise would be. Okay, so we have a very cheap pill here, and um, oh, we also have our crystal ball ready, so we should use that. Death and uh, deals damage to all enemies in a room, if I remember correctly. Pill, let's just take it. I can see forever. Huh, I imagine that's some kind of map effect. I can see forever. Strange. I mean, forever? Oh, it's kind of like uh, X-ray vision, isn't it? It told us where the secret rooms were. Is that on this floor or on all floors? Is the question. So I'm going to look for the second secret room now. The top secret room, because that could easily be around here somewhere. 
So it's not on any of these rooms, if this uh, pill works the way um, I imagine it did. So it's oftentimes close to a terminal. So that's what I'm gonna check first. Yeah, here it is. Super cool. And uh, there's another black heart and nothing else. Cool, I'm gonna take it. So if, this, uh, if there's indeed a timer at work here, I'm probably screwed. Because I've been super slow. Make a maw. Okay. Um, okay, so he seems to be rather stationary. Fires. Oh! That stuff, which is scary. Actually, let me just use my uh, death card here to deal a bunch of damage to them. So this is, of course, a kind of mechanic that's seen before. Particularly in the Zelda games, it's often used. Spawns enemies, but otherwise he wasn't too bad. Maybe I just got a little bit lucky with my shots. Also, my familiar from the first floor is pretty cool. And we get another deal with the devil, it's fantastic. This thing I got before, tears plus uh, shot speed up. Oh, I can spawn these things super fast now. Ha! I can, oh, I can create a wall of this stuff. Too bad that I look sad. Um, I wonder what was on that torn photograph. Anyway, it deals with the devil. Um, not too useful. So remember that one of the unlocks that um, are in this game is about unlocking or taking enough deals with the devil. I think we need to take three on the floor. So maybe that's um, a good enough excuse that I should have picked up um, Guppy's... What was it? Guppy's paw on the first floor. Health up, that's fantastic. I can see forever. I'm definitely gonna bring that to the next floor. Uh, I think I left a world card behind, but world card is uh, fairly useless anyway. So let's see if I also get a map effect from using this pill. The timer is gone now. I'm not sure what that means. Okay, and this floor is no longer dark. Okay, nothing happened to the map, but I imagine that I can see... Um, that I can see secret rooms as I could on the previous floor. One thing that's a little bit annoying about this item is if I don't actually want to charge the shots, I need to press the bottom super fast, super fast. And that uh, <laughs> is uh, bad for your fingers, obviously, in the long run. Or maybe it's good for, for them because they get exercise. I think it's not there. I think, in general, if you use computers as often as everybody in the entire world uses computers these days, uh, you're probably gonna fuck up your joints a little bit, which is unfortunate. So these guys I can only hit from behind. So first of all, my friend down here is, is gonna make good work. But also I can totally cheese this by using my uh, my effects from, I mean, the, the, the anti-gravity thing that I got. So again, I'm, pr oh, this thing again. So I should think, shoot in the wrong direction. And then when they come by me, I can shoot them. That's super ridiculous. I think they even take damage from walking into the shots. So, um, so far, pretty good on the... Oh, okay. That's a new thing. That's not something that these guys normally do. I rocked straight into it. Hitboxes uh, treated me a little bit, I think. Yeah, so they definitely take damage from just walking into the shots. Which is cool enough. Um... Yeah, this room is a little scary. I'm happy that I'm, at least, that I don't have any speed down builds or anything like that. No worry, was this a run where I got a speed run? Or a speed down? I did the last two runs in quick succession, so I'm not actually sure about that. These guys are a lot easier when I can uh, just do it like this. Put down tears and have them run into them. Uh, yeah, soul heart. Why don't I just pick up the soul heart? There is not much reason not to. There is some reason not to, but the reason not to is roughly as strong as the reason to. Can reasons be strong? I don't know. Words are being made up. Not gonna open the golden chest. So as I said before, I mean, the reason why we're getting so many golden chests is because we picked up Guppy's tail. Um, which can be a bad thing. It can really be a bad thing because, I mean, it means that we're not getting ordinary chests, which may contain... Okay, we had an ordinary chest right there, but we're getting fewer ordinary chests, which occasionally contain um, the keys that you want to get to the golden chests. Can I blow up the skulls is the question. I uh, totally can. 
And I get a bomb back. So we have more gold than we need right now. Or more gold than we need right now. Is the shop better than the item room is the question. I think oftentimes it is. In this case, maybe not. But, well, maybe it is because it gave us access to the second secret room. So that's remote detonator right there. I'm gonna buy it even though I'm not actually gonna use it. And because... Okay, there's another so large. Um, because I want to pick up all the items in the game. So what remote detonator allows us to do is put down uh, bombs and then we decide when to blow them up ourselves. Kind of like in Bomberman. It's a commonly seen item. Okay, so that's golden poop. Golden poop contains money. So we're taking this room or this floor in a very strange order, but um, let's just get to our secret room as fast as possible. Hopefully we'll get a key before we get there so that we can actually go into the secret room. Missing out on the secret room is super bad, by the way. Um, well, it's not... It doesn't mean that you automatically lose the run, but I mean, you really want to get items, right? Uh, we can't do anything tricky here, I think. We have some bats. I'm really digging this uh, anti-gravity thing. It's super awesome. Uh, what else do we want to do on this floor? I'm probably not going to, going to go into the... Um, I forget what it's called. The room where you need to take damage to go into it. Just because we're running on soul hearts and black hearts right now. And I feel like the health is probably going to be uh, of greater importance in the long run. I think we have... Um, how many Gobby items at the moment? Two, right? We have Gobby's tail and Gobby's head. And at least in vanilla you only had to get three Gobby items in total to become Gobby. So hopefully that can... I'm not sure how many Gobby items we have actually in the game right now, but um, hopefully more than three since we didn't pick up Gobby's paw earlier on. Uh, I definitely wouldn't mind becoming Gobby. First of all to see how it works, but also just because it means that we get super strong. Okay, so we sure enough have uh, enough hearts on this floor. I don't really need hearts though, so I'd much rather just um, get a key, please. Game, is that something you can you can do? What did we have in our shop? We didn't have a key, right? Let's just check because it's free for us to go this way. We totally did have a key. That was kind of a brain fart that I didn't think of this before, but. No, I did. Oh, this is uh, infestation. I think that means that if we uh, manage to hit enemies, we spawn flies. Remember that flies deal double our damage in vanilla. I'm not sure if it's the same thing here. Okay. Um, one thing I think, one thing I feel like I'm missing out on are um, tinted rocks. Remember, the tinted rocks are the blue rocks that contain goodies. I feel like I must have missed some of those because, at least in vanilla, again, referring to vanilla the entire time, in vanilla they are more common than what we've seen right now. This guy is a lot like the previous boss, except the uh, scarier. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, oh, this is so bad. What was inside of him? It was like a small boy or something like that this looks like it could be a health upgrade i'm not sure if it is plus sense of regeneration plus health up okay that's cool so we are one heart away from uh, unlocking maggie something i want to do of course and anything else i guess we may as well i know it's a long way it's gonna take a while but there's no reason now not to go to the uh, room on the on the top left just because okay we can also use this right what is that two of hearts that spawns I think it doubles our hearts. Yeah. Uh, so if we go down to two hearts, for instance, we use it, we get four hearts. If we go down to three hearts, we get full in it, full um, HP back. So that's pretty good. That's definitely pretty good. In this case, I have a lot of bombs. So I'm, oh, and we have regeneration. I wonder how that works, if it's on a timer or what's going on. From the placenta thing that we got from the boss. Seems pretty good. I can see forever is, of course, also super useful because it gives us... Um, Access to secret rooms. Telepills took us to the second secret room, which is bad because now I have to walk all the way back again. Okay. So what do I want to bring down to the next floor is the question. 
Uh, obviously, I can see forever is pretty good because secret rooms are good, but also having three hearts at our disposal will probably be even better in the long run, even though we're gonna lose a bit of health going in here. And of course, we also get this thing, the spirit or the soul heart. I'm not gonna call them spirit hearts. Uh, all right, that should do it for this floor. And uh, we now spawn. Maybe that's what infestation does. Yeah, infestation means that when we take damage, we spawn flies. And then it's something else that means that we spawn flies when we deal damage. Um, that's... What's the other item called? I forget. So as always, apologize. Uh, or rather, apologies if I mess up what the items actually do. There are a lot of them to remember. Alright, so we're on um, the mom boss fight uh, floor. Maybe the um, the clock that we saw before has something to do with an achievement like or something like that. If we manage to beat the game fast enough, we might unlock something. Would make a lot of sense. We're firing so fast right now. It's fantastic. This room is scary. Uh, we managed to make good use of anti-gravity again. Here's a long room. We haven't seen one of those for a while. Oh, can those big guys jump as well? They can. Cool thing is that when they're in the air, I might as well just charge off a bunch of shots and then they'll more or less automatically hit when the, when the guys came come down again. So we could go into our arcade now. We have probably enough cash to make it worthwhile. Um, I'm gonna go to the shop first though. Oh, this is technology. Technology 2, actually. Oh, maybe that's... Okay, technology would have been bad because that would only give us laser. Technology 2 means that we have both lasers and tears. <laughs> but we need to not use technology in order to fire them. So this synergy here is kind of a non-synergy. Also, it means that we simply sl fire slower than we would otherwise do. So that's maybe not something I'm a big fan of. But uh, we deal a lot of damage, so that's good. And also we have unlimited range, which is um, useful enough in its own right. And these things take, taken together might mean that we have some, what, greater flexibility than we would have otherwise had. So I'm not gonna complain too much. He says out there he's been doing nothing but complaining. Uh, so... I should use my uh, I can see forever. Good thing I did because there's a secret room. Why don't I deal damage to these things? Do I need to kill the guy here first? What's up? Um, do I need to hit them from a certain direction? Or maybe it was just timed. I don't know, that's a little strange. Okay, so that's an eternal heart. Uh, so if we bring that down to the next floor, we will get a free heart container. Now we know where the boss is, by the way. Um, so let's not go in this direction yet. So once again, this is going to be one of those floors where I need to remember a bunch of stuff. So here we have Greed, the mini boss. It's easy enough. And he can spawn some good items for us, so I'm not... Yeah, he can spawn the steam sail. Which I guess we'll take. It means that everything we see in item or in shops um, will be half the price at what it normally is. So that of course means that I really want to go into the shop, except I have no keys. But I can probably gamble a little bit on the arcade to get some keys. So uh, I'm not too worried about that yet. Uh, spikes have more AI than I expected them to. What is this? Looks like we can blow it up maybe? Yeah. Probably takes two bombs. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty cool. Ha! Is this like an inn in RPG games? Can I sleep and get full health, maybe? Set, set, set. Yeah, looks like that was indeed the case. Of course, that was kind of a waste because I almost lost, or, or I almost had full health already. In particular, I could have just gone into this room first, right? But uh, now at least I know what it does. So that's... Oh, that's another guppy item. Are we going to become guppy here? I think we are. Oh, I shouldn't have picked that up, actually. <laughs> Maybe I should. Uh, that was, of course, guppy's... Uh, 
What's it called? What was it called again? Nine lives, I think. Because now we have nine lives, except we have like one in, in already. So now we have ten lives. But on the other hand, it took away all of our heart containers. So we're probably not going to unlock uh, Maggie on this run. But now we're a guppy, which is cool. Um, because now we spawn a ton of flies and we're super powerful. Um, but of course, being super powerful doesn't really help you a whole lot if you're also super dead the entire time. Um, so we're definitely looking out to get some more health somehow. But... Yeah, okay, we died. No, but we came back again because our first life was kind of a cheaty uh, life. I don't know. <laughs> so strange. Uh, also, we can go in, in here for free. Let's... Uh, and we have a spirit heart. Soul heart. Um, so we're gonna have to fight bosses here. So... Maybe doing that is not worthwhile. But I mean, if we're gonna die, it's not like it's gonna be a huge problem anyway. I mean, the, the thing is, we have nine lives, um, but most of those lives are going to be garbage because we're going to fight bosses and lose all of the hearts on the same floor. Um, may as well pick up this red heart, I guess. Okay, that was a one-shot kill right there. So the heart that we get as Lazarus is different from the lives that we get from uh, nine lives. As in, if we die as with a Lazarus heart, we spawn on the same room, which is more useful than... Not spawning on the same room, which is what happens if we die with the... Uh, what am I trying to say? Nine lives. Lives. <laughs> it's a difficult sentence. Okay, so I really want to get a heart here. I can, Or I really want to get a key. I can get keys from these two guys. Um, okay, we got a pill and we took some damage. That's pretty stupid. And this is how I found pills, which is bad. And I don't want to go below 15 hearts or 15 cents because then chances are that I'm not going to get something from the shop if I go there anyway. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Of course I do because I have uh, the Steam sale, so everything is only 7 cents. So now I'm just... So I blew up that guy in the hopes that he would drop a key when I did so. Um, this guy can spawn flies. I should be aware of that. That's why I lost some health before. So I'm gonna go down to 7 cents, and if he still doesn't give me anything... Okay, he got me a ton of money. It's kind of strange. Um, so this is a huge time sink that I'm not a big fan of. But but I mean, I read on the blog some at some point during the development of this game that that time sink was gonna be removed. Seems like it hasn't been really. Anyway, the most annoying part about this is that I totally um, wasted my soul heart that I got before. And by the way, there should be uh, no pattern to whether which one of those skulls you actually choose. You're gonna um, have the same chance at winning no matter what. Oh, and we still regenerate life. I s completely don't understand how that works. Let's uh, see if we can figure that out by just simply waiting around here. See if we are gonna regenerate some life. Maybe it's something that happens on a like, per-room basis. I'm gonna play this guy until he gives me a key. And probably also after that. Because there's not really no really, not really any reason not to. Um, more keys means more golden chest means more goodies. Um, but of course no keys means... No keys mean... I'm not even sure where I want to go with this. This time we're gonna get a key. No? Okay. <laughs> we don't need hearts. We don't need hearts, I said. We may as well use the hearts as we get them. Get a little bit of uh, extra goodies out of it. Okay, so he, instead of giving us a key, spawned a uh, fly love. Which uh, means that flies can no longer hurt us. And will no longer attack us. Which is useful. But it's not a key. Oh, and we can fly as Scuppy as well. Which is uh, pretty good. I hope that means that... That doesn't mean that I forgot something at some point. What did we have in here? The Eternal Heart, which I will definitely come back to. Because um, my health situation is so bad. These guys are gonna kill themselves on spikes. Oh! Still cannot open that. I really need another key. Oh, mom, of course. Oh, shit. That means that I can't go out of the room again. 
Ah, <laughs> uh, this is not the most well thought through thing that I've ever done. That means that I'm gonna leave the spirit or the eternal heart behind, probably. And because unlike in most boss rooms, um, the mom boss... Okay, I, I totally can come out of this room again, I just have to die. Okay, so now I just uh, need to... Not take too much damage on the boss fight, that should totally work. Mm. Yeah, I'm still thinking, can I somehow get a key out of this, but I don't think that I can. Okay. So I should also remember to use my tears and not only my laser, which is uh, trickier than it um, than it sounds actually. We're dealing a fair amount of damage to to mom very fast compared to um, the first run that we had where we actually beat her. So that's of course very good. Oops! In particular, when we can hit her with like oh that's a totally gross thing right there, when we can hit her with uh, multiple tears at once. So tears plus shot beat up. Um, tears is good because our tears were kind of diminished by picking up technology. So um, I'm still super sad that I lost so much health by picking up uh, the guppy item. But now we got a little bit of it back um, by having that eternal heart. Um, okay, what's up with the uh, weird filter effect on this floor? So this is a womb, which is uh, disgusting. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's uh, all there is to that. So I should totally remember that we can fly. Uh, I seem to be forgetting that half of the time. It's both good for getting items, but also for avoiding um, obstacles. For instance, we can just fly over here and everything's gonna be a lot easier. So the womb is special because we take... Uh, of course, now you get me a key. We take um, double the damage... And we can just get this for free. And double the damage that we normally would. Full health. Good to know that it exists, but it wasn't very good here. And we take one full heart of damage where we would normally just take half a heart. Um, which is, of course, bad because it means that we effectively has, have around uh, half the amount of health that we would normally have. Um, but yeah. And also, there is no item rooms. Um, it's like we've seen all the items room, uh, item rooms that there are to see in the game. Uh, and of course, knowing that we get a bunch of keys to actually go into them. Oh, whoop! I still feel like I'm using my tears super ineffectively. I should use my um, crystal ball. The Empress turns us into a devil on one room. Uh, let's see, one, two... I want to take the shortest path possible to um, make it as easy as possible for myself. What's that? Cricket's head. So we unlocked another item and we get damage up. That seems really good. And we look uh, absolutely horrible right now. Yeah, we should definitely remember to um, use Crystal Ball very effic uh, efficiently right now because it gives us so many good things. Uh, probably don't want to fight those guys for the chance of something good from the chest. Because the uh, challenge rooms... Oh shit, they get more and more difficult as you go on. Our tears are getting huger and huger. Um, okay, we know where the secret room is, but we cannot get into it for free as we could earlier on. Just contains two bombs, but that's also good. It means that we certainly didn't lose anything going in there. I wanted to fight the mini boss because mini bosses um, they are usually pretty easy as you can see and they have a chance of giving you uh, really good stuff. The thing is if I die right now um, I'm gonna come back to life but I'm gonna come back to life with one heart container instead of two. So that's of course not very good. So I wanna have... Yeah that's a question. Is there any reason to really keep those keys around? I mean I'm probably not gonna get anything better than what I'm gonna get from the golden chests anyway. Strength is pretty good. It makes us stronger for a room and it gives us another heart container. So the thing is I'm not entirely sure that I'm gonna be able to beat the boss with only the health that I have right now. But with the strength card uh, I'm gonna get one more health. So depending on whether or not the boss is gonna be extremely difficult um, my chances will um, 
very accordingly. So the question is, is it better to have like the extra damage from the Empress card or the extra health from the Strength card? And I think I'm gonna go with the extra health from the Strength card just because uh, the fact that our damage is already super good and that's gonna make us a bit more balanced. And Loki is a boss that I know and he shouldn't be too difficult. So I'm gonna use the Strength card immediately. Makes us a little bit stronger, but more importantly, it gives us um, the extra health. And if we find ourselves in too tricky a position, we can always just hide over the rocks because we can fly. So, um, actually the game is uh, dropping a few frames right now. That's the first time I, I see that happen. Um, so good thing that we can shoot over this. So that unlocked Loki's horns for us, I guess just from beating Loki. And what is this? Latch key, log up. Okay, cool enough. Get us some key, gets us some keys and log up. Um, one thing to notice is that in the original game, there you're actually limited to having one log up, but you could have as, met, as much log down as you wanted. And because of a coding mistake in the game, the more log down you had, the more lucky you got, which is super strange. But I've, I guess the log up thing has probably been fixed right now and that we actually have two log ups uh, available. That's what I'm gonna assume. So we're on the last floor of, um, the, of um, what we're looking at right now. Um, yeah, the last floor currently available to us, I should say. This seems like a super annoying enemy. So we're still super strong, no reason not to pop this. Gives us a soul heart, which... I You could make a point that I should not have picked up that soul heart, but um, with a bit of luck, I'm not gonna take... I'm not gonna lose all my soul hearts get going to the boss anyway. Um... All right, so the question is, do I want to go into the room up there? It's gonna cost me uh, health to do so, but the thing is, I'm only gonna take damage once if it's like Vanilla Isaac, because I can fly. Um, still though, I don't think it's worth it, because every single piece of health that we have right now is uh, paralyzes. I think I'm s slower? I don't know what happened on, or what was going on there. I don't know what that pill does. Um, it's such a shame that uh, using these tiers effectively is uh, so tricky. So going, looking back at the run so far, I definitely would have made some other choices if I had full like awareness of what I was doing, <laughs> um, which I don't. So I think we're just gonna rush the boss here and then hopefully we're gonna be able to uh, beat it, whatever it may be in the first try. Um, this is kind of scary. These things are super slow and my fantastic... Oh boy! <laughs> oh, what is this? That's absolutely terrifying. I like these uh, huge rooms. They bring so many memories back from uh, old Zelda games. Where you had these... Uh, rooms of exactly this size for boss battles in many cases. All right, so uh, this is the final battle. If I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die seven times and I really want to do this in my first run. Is there any way I can better my chances? I don't think so. I think I'll just have to go for it and the boss is mom's heart. So first thing first, we're gonna pop down the uh, Empress card. Oh, I took damage from that. I'm not sure if we're mod actually. Oh, there's laser up there. Okay, this is totally not the, the mom's heart boss fight that I'm used to. Uh, okay, so the, the heart comes down, um, we get to deal damage to it. Oh, this is super bullet heli. I'm liking this. And I think we won. Holy stuff. Um, okay, so I think the game is over now if we go down to the chest. But the thing is, we apparently are offered a chance to go in here instead. Which contains, first of all, another health upgrade, which I'm very... I'm grateful about, but also a chance to go to the level after we beat the game. Interesting stuff is going on. You unlocked Eden. Good. Show. All right, so this is the home of Satan. Uh, just to spoil it immediately. I think most of you probably know it anyway. And we get the map, which is fantastic, from the crystal ball. I'm not going to pick up the spirit heart yet, or soul heart, sorry. Um, we have a library, I would imagine, over on the far left side. But I'm probably gonna take too much damage if I go all the way over there. Instead, I'm gonna rush the boss. And 
Even though this is boring, I'm gonna totally go crazy on this thing because it can give us a lot of advantages that might just win us the game. So I think there is really no reason not to do this. What is this thing? Full health, okay. That's fantastic. That's exactly what we want. Having two of them as well is, uh, is good because it means we can almost surely bring at least one of them into the boss fight. It's cool, so cool that they changed the uh, boss fight for Morm's Heart. That took me by surprise, honestly. I was feeling like, eh, those guys looking out there, uh, they have no idea what's going on, so I'm gonna look like a total pro because I'm just gonna beat the uh, the crazy boss fight th that the original one was without um, even looking like I'm trying. But uh, then it turned out that it was completely insane instead. So uh, the reason why I was so surprised when we actually managed to beat the boss was that I simply did not have the uh, extra overview needed to have a look at, uh, at her or its health. So I'm happy and surprised that that went down so easily. Okay, so I'm not gonna pick up the soul hearts. Um, I'm gonna open this because I may as well. Like the music here as well. Oh shit, this is also scary. Oh, this is totally like... Um, a Phantom, the uh, second boss in Super Metroid. Like ghosts showing up uh, out of nowhere. I think I, I told that story when I when I played through Super Metroid on this channel. That boss used to scare the hell out of me. Isaac for consume thy enemy. Not sure what that does, but since I have no idea what matchstick does, I think I'm gonna go with this instead. Um, that was easy. Uh, I was so scared of that boss when I was a kid. Uh, I rented the game from from a video game store, and my parents were out for the weekend or something like that, and I had a babysitter over and. I mean, the babysitter simply couldn't calm me down enough. I had to turn off my console and just stop playing the game. This brings back all those terrible, terrible memories from back then. Um, but as you know, I managed to petrified poop. I know that one. It's not good. Um, as you know, I did manage to beat the game since then. I managed to look my fears into their eyes and... Um, I wondered for a long time why my fears would have eyes, because it's not like fears need actual vision for anything. Uh, may as well play this a little bit more. A little bit more again, even. I have all day. I don't actually have all day, but yeah. That's good. So uh, now, I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to do this, but we should have a decent chance with a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, plus 2 extra hearts. I think if we die once, uh, we're gonna die se like seven times. Um, so I hope that's not gonna happen. But also it's probably gonna completely ruin our statistics if it does. So Lazarus versus Satan, that's fantastic. Uh, normally strategy is to put down a bomb in the middle here, because those things spawn. Um, I'm not gonna take anything for granted though. This boss fight, uh, boss fight looks like it's like the ordinary Satan boss fight from the original. So it comes in very many different stages. Um, whoop. Our damage is so fantastic right now. Okay, so that thing that he does with his hands there is definitely new. Um, okay, so that's the uh, second phase down. I can safely use bombs here to uh, speed it up if I can manage to put them down close to where he spawns. That's one piece of damage right there. I still have a bunch to go. I should remember to pop my full health pill if it ever becomes necessary. As you can probably tell from my voice, I'm fairly stressed right now. The guy from our first war uh, that I forgot who's, what, what name is, what his name is, is doing some good work as well. I think that was it. We unlocked a ton of stuff. We unlocked Judas and Broken Onk. Oh. Oh, right. Not uh, breathing for 20 seconds can... Uh, be unhealthy ending. There you have it. We beat the game. Again. Three times, actually. <laughs> if you count the uh, the mom fights. So let's... Um, I think I did something weird here. Because... Uh, isn't there like a way to watch the endings? I think I managed to skip a... 
Yeah, we know, we saw the first ending already on the first episode. Now there's epilogue and credits. Definitely we saw those. I didn't actually show the epilogue, but you can find that on YouTube. And then we saw the twelfth ending. So certainly I did something wrong here. Um, but I guess we'll probably see the other, the, all the other endings uh, eventually. Um, I'm happy to see that we actually only have one death. That means that all the deaths from nine lives apparently do not count. So uh, stats. I like stats. Everybody loves stats. Stats uh, make more sense now than they did in the original. Oh yeah, this uh, video is now one hour long. I think it's probably a pretty good place to end it. So for now, thank you everybody for watching and I will see you some other time.